Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here today with we'll yet another video. And today we will be debuting the College Hoops 2K8 series. Absolutely love this game. PS3 classic to me. Like top 10, one of my most favorite games ever. You know what I'm saying? This and NCAA football, like I said prior before, I love college sports way more than I love pro sports. So I remember having this game fucking in high school, man, and like I used to beat niggas by 50. Now, I'm not that good in this game anymore, but there's one aspect I always loved about this game. The career legacy mode. Now, what you see here, right, where I'm at now, we're at the creative coach screen. From here, you know what I'm saying? You know, we gotta add some attributes. And one thing that's key in any college sports game, especially a rebuild, you need to have your, um, your recruiting uh, stats up. So in this case, for this game, you know what I mean? That's gonna be scouting and charisma. But uh, scouting's gonna be second, because charisma, as more effect as you read here, more in, more of an impact to everything you do with your recruits that you're going for. So the team I decided to go with is my alma mater. Well, actually, I don't even know if I can call them my alma mater because I didn't graduate from there, but this is the college I went to, you know what I mean? When I went, college I went to to play baseball at, Film Cooking University, um, you know what I mean? Conference at MEAC School, uh, the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, you know, anybody knows about, about me, me at schools, you know what I mean? Now, you know, like, in football, they were Division I, AA, you know what I mean, FCS. Um, and in basketball, you know what I mean, they're not that great. When I was there, you know, they were they were decent, mid-level type school, but, you know, they're definitely not a powerhouse. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead and select them. Now, from here, i got to select two coaches, you know what I mean, to go on this journey with me. As I progress and as I get better, you know what I mean? I can even take them with me or, you know what I'm saying, I could pick new coaches. So for now, one thing I want is I want to coach with as high of charisma as I can find. So in this in this instance, it's going to be a coach with the coaches with C's because I need them to also make recruiting calls and stuff with me. All right, so this is our schedule for me to start off the season. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it the first year, you know what I mean? My first goal and our first key here in the series is to win our conference. If we can win our conference and get the tournament bid, that's huge. It's going to help us get recruits, and that's going to help, you know what I mean, the prestige of the school, and that's going to help the players get better and everything like that. And also, it's definitely going to help my job security. All right, so like I said, since we're not that big of a powerhouse school or anything like that, you know what I'm saying, we got to start slowly to build our school up with two and three stars. You know what I mean? Definitely don't want a one star, you know, but like in the first couple of years, you got to go with, like, who wants you. So as you see here, I have seven available scholarships. I can't, I can't make any pitches to him right now, so what I'm going to do is just uh, get my board situated. All right, man, as you see here, we got our uh, our recruiting board essentially set up. You know what I mean? We got nine prospects on there. Uh, what I'm going to do probably later on in the year is add some juniors and sophomores and stuff like that because on this game, it allows you to keep in contact with, you know, sophomore and juniors in high school, like just like in real life to that time. So, th so by that, you know what I mean, by the time they're seniors, you know what I'm saying, they have a high interest level when you already know about you. So let's go ahead and uh, get to this season. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at our roster, you know what I'm saying? We gotta see what we have, you know what I mean, to, to work with here in this first season. So our best player looks like is our point guard, Jordan Potts, 72 overall. Unfortunately, he's a senior, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta make this year special for him and make it to the tournament. So after on to after the first four players, everybody else is very, very subpar. So whoever I recruit is key because I feel like if I can get some pretty decent recruits, they will be starting day one when they get. Alright, before we start the season, let's look at all the preseason rankings. Of course we know we're not up there, but I just want to see where everybody is. You know what I mean? Kansas number one overall, followed by Duke, Kentucky, Arizona, and Pittsburgh round out the top five. My boys, UNC, are down there at number 10, UCLA number 12. And number 25 is Virginia Tech. So I see all the mid-majors on there. Gonzaga, Creighton, and that's it. Those are the two mid-majors. But, you know what I mean? One day, you know what I mean, we'll, we'll get to that point. All right, man, so that's going to do it pretty much. You know what I mean? I got uh, my visits set up with, with my recruits. You know what I'm saying? We're going to skip over March Madness, and we're going to go straight to our first game against uh, Florida Gulf Coast. But that's going to be next episode. That's going to be right coming up right after this one. So, you know what I mean? As always, man, you know what I mean? Stop and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new for more content. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out this bitch. Peace.